In this video, I'm going to share my first impressions of the Astral Indus PFD. I'm stoked Astral made this. This is a 22 pound medium flotation jacket for kayakers and rafters too. I'm pretty sure they designed it for kayakers, for people that are going to go run like the Indus, because it's called the Indus, or the Stikine, or other just big volume rivers, specifically in kayaking. Because that's a kayaking cut. It sits a little bit higher. It's made to have like a little bit of range of motion for kayaking. I don't think they really thought about rafters much. But this is something you might want to consider for rafting because it is it does have 22 pounds of flotation, which is way more than most PFDs. And this is the coolest looking, best fitting PFD with that much flotation. And I want to kind of go through some of the features that some of you are probably wondering about or curious about because they got rid of the clamshell zipper. I think a lot of people love the classic zipper that you unzip and it comes down and you can put a sandwich on it and you can store a lot of stuff. We love that zipper and it's kind of sad to see it go but they probably had some design consideration, some reason they didn't do that. And I'm gonna be trust them and feel like I can hold all my things other ways. So I wanna go through some of the things quickly. There's this little knife pouch here, which I'm gonna attempt to just clip my folding knife into it and see if it stays there. I think that's a pretty cool solution. I also use a pen a lot for classes, so I'm gonna clip my pen there too. It's kinda of nice to have that spot right there. There's a little place to tab something in, Velcro it in, but I'm gonna to try to just clip mine in and see how that goes. Uh, next is this up and down zipper that's pretty controversial. I know some of you hate this. It's actually kind of cool. I like it because if it's unzipped and my phone's in there, it'll probably still stay. When it's vertical and I flip, I might lose it. I'm in and out of my phone a lot taking photos. And so this is basically just a phone pocket. Just think of it as a phone pocket and move on. It fits a phone really well. I carry a notepad a lot. And so I like having a notepad along with my pen to take notes. And it's pretty deep, it goes far down. So you could actually put some sunscreen down there, it barely fits, and still have plenty of room for your phone and a few other things. But I would just think of this as like a phone pocket, which we, our PFDs have needed specifically designed phone pockets for a while. So that's pretty cool. And then it comes with the Astral side pockets. And I've been avoiding carrying rescue gear with me because I'm a, I'm a heavy guy and I don't need more heavy stuff with me. But with 22 pounds of fl flotation, I might carry in the side pocket, some rescue gear, like a, a pulley, a prusik, a carabiner. Now I'm more willing to carry this with me when I'm rafting. The one thing I did notice moving around is I keep hitting my elbow on it. Because there's so much flotation on the sides, the pockets stick out even more. So for rafting, I'll probably carry this stuff in here. For kayaking, I have a feeling I'll keep hitting my, my elbow on the pocket. So the pockets, I think for kayaking, on the side at least, are semi-useful. And then for storing other things, like flip lines, for example, there's a space down here. There's no zipper, but it's a quick access place to put things like a flip line, which I carry with me both kayaking and rafting. And it seems like it might fall out. They put some little thingies here to, I think, help keep things in. I feel pretty good about the locations. Quick access. There's no zipper to get to it. I think I actually like this more than other solutions for some sort of flip line. So those are all the pockets on the outside. There's a pocket on the back behind you that's made for like money, passports, or for traveling internationally. I'll probably put a little tiny first aid kit, things I can get to in case we need something quickly. So storage wise, it's good. I still prefer the Palm Nevis. I, the Palm Nevis has ridiculous pockets. Zipper pocket here, zipper pocket there, clamshell. It has a, a huge Velcro pocket in the back. It has a phone pocket. We all want pockets. And so I wish this had more pockets, but I'm gonna say it's adequate. Although when I am teaching, I'm using a radio a lot too. I have no idea where I'll put the radio. So I think it's minimal, it's a minimal pockets. It's gonna do the job for most of us, but the pockets could be better. But I do appreciate the flotation. And so if I'm gonna choose between, especially like rafting and doing harder stuff, flotation or pockets, I'm gonna choose flotation. So I'm gonna say this is a good PFD for that. But overall, it feels it's quality, the color's cool. It's super comfortable. This, this foam is really like contoured, has some side protection for taking a hit, like if you fall on your ribs, which I think the, the green jacket had some of, but this is even better. Like I'm digging it. I think this is gonna be my go-to rafting PFD for sure. For kayaking, I, you know, I, I'm gonna try kayaking tomorrow and I'll have opinions then. I don't think this is, like this was designed for kayaking, obviously, based on how high it sits, uh, just the whole thing. It still was designed for kayaking. They were not thinking of rafters. I think rafters, those of you that raft, this is, you're the ones that want this. As a kayaker, I do like this, but I think a lot of kayakers don't own two PFDs. Maybe they, maybe the future we do. Maybe 
like people own five pair of skis now and four kayaks and like two paddles. Maybe it's time we have like a high water PFD and a low water PFD. That probably makes sense. But most kayakers I have know have one PFD and that's the one. And I think that this is a good one for some kayaking activities, but this wouldn't be my day to day one. I wouldn't, it seems a little bulky to play boat in. Uh, it's not that just quick, like class three PFD. This is like, I'm going to go kayak in Pakistan PFD, or I'm going to go do a first descent in big water. So that, that kind of thing. So I don't really think for kayaking, it's going to take off as a PFD. I think for rafters, this is for you. Just a big caveat for rafters is it does sit high like a kayaking PFD. And so, you know, if you have a little bit of a belly, it's not going to stay on you as well as one that sat lower. Also, if it sat lower that when you're swimming, that flotation is down low, none of it's out of the water. So if this, if I'm up to here, some of the flotations out of the water, I really want flotation lower to cover my belly, but also to sit higher when I'm actually swimming. So I, I think it's, I think it's, I'm stoked they did it. I think it's designed for kayakers. A lot of raptors are not going to like things about it. I think the storage is better than I thought it would be uh, and good. It's going to be fine. It carries all the things I need, but I wish the storage would be better. But overall, I'm stoked. This is definitely my go-to rafting PFD for the, the, the near future. I'll try kayaking it tomorrow and see if I like kayaking it. I'm going to take it on a trip here in a few days and see if I like it. But I just want to say thank you, Astral. Uh, I think a lot of people have been asking for more flotation. And I think you're going to hear a lot of negative comments about the pockets and how high it sits and things like that from rafters. Uh, and, and, uh, but I appreciate you doing it. It's a sweet PFD. And I really honestly believe it's going to save lives because a lot of us that are bigger like me have these like 16 pound PFDs cause they look cool and they fit good. And now people like me can have more flotation. So on those long swims, we're in good shape. So those are my first impressions. If you have thoughts, questions, more first impressions, throw them in the comments and uh, yep, that's it for this episode. See you next time.